So, hello everyone, and welcome to Indoraptor Productions, where today, um, you've already read the title, and probably seen the thumbnail, um, so let's just get into it. So, I hope that that got the intro, <laughs> um, we have new promotional images of the Seats Mikororum, I, I think that's how you pronounce it, or Mikororum, uh, you know, maybe pronounce it some weird way, but, um, this figure looks absolutely amazing. It doesn't look as good as the final, um, product, like, the ones that we, the one that we saw at, um, Toy Fair. Was it Toy Fair? I think it was Toy Fair. Um, the, these images don't look as good as that, but, um, you know, it does kind of give us an idea of what we're going to be getting. No sounds, of course, on this figure, um, because it is a massive biter, but, um, yeah, you can also see, it has, uh, like, some snaggle teeth, um, which kind of, like, goes over, it, it kind of looks like, um, King Kong from 2005, where he had those, that one tooth that kind of, like, went over his, uh, his mouth, kind of, like, was jutting out, so that's pretty cool. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to show you guys that. Um, so here it is. Uh, this is our first official look at Jurassic World Dominion. We did get that other image that, um, Colin also posted. Um, where, um, it was, like, Maisie on a, on a bike next to, like, uh, some abandoned building. Um, or presumably abandoned. Now, you can see Colin right here. The main thing to take away from this is that we are getting snow. Like, you know, it is 100% confirmed we're getting snow in Dominion. So, we're finally, we're hopefully gonna see Rexy in snow. Uh, they've pretty much set this up since the first Jurassic World, back in 2015, with the, uh, the bird foot, uh, going into the snow, um, so I think that they've kind of been setting that up ever since then. Don't know if that was an intentional setup or what, but, um, yeah, so here's a closer image of it. It's just a shot of Isabel Sermon, um, with some construction, uh, equipment and stuff, and construction workers, um, gonna be very interesting what the scene is gonna be about. This is probably gonna be, like, uh, probably, like, towards the beginning of the movie, I would assume. I don't think that this is gonna be the opening. Um, but, yeah. So, that, there it is. Um, also, in, uh, other news, um, I think it was IGN that, that's hosting this. Um, they have announced that there's going to be a Jurassic Park watch-along with Joseph Mazzello, who played Tim Murphy in the first film. So they're going to be doing that on April 23rd. Um, that is three days from now, as the day I'm recording. So that is this Thursday at 5 p.m. to Pacific Standard Time and to, to and 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I think that's what that means. Um, which means that it's 7 for me, because, uh, we're, like, middle, <laughs> I don't know what time zone we're in, but, um, yeah, we, uh, we, this is happening at 7. Um, I am not going to be watching this, which really sucks, um, but the Godzilla King of the Monsters watch-along is happening on the same day, and, you know, I've been leading up to that movie, and I feel like I already know quite a bit about this movie. The only thing that we're, you can, we're, we can really, like, we're gonna get out of this is that, well, we're gonna get some, uh, it's actually a QA and a with Joseph Mazzella. Um, but really the only, like, big thing that we could get out of this is that Joseph Mazzella is probably gonna announce that he's gonna be in Dominion, like, <laughs> Him and Ariana Richards, who played Lex, um, they're probably both going to be in the movie. 
Um, I don't even think that Ariana acts anymore. I don't know what she does um, anymore, but I'm pretty sure that she doesn't act anymore. Um, but, uh, you know, it'd be super cool if uh, she does show up again in this movie. But, yeah, I think that this is confirmation, pretty much, that Joseph is going to be in the movie, which is so cool. <laughs> um, but, yeah, Jurassic Park Watch Along. Uh, you can tune in at those times, and uh, it's on April 23rd, this Thursday. So, yeah, Jurassic Park. Um, they're not doing the whole series, like uh, they're the mo like uh, Legendary is with the Monsterverse, which is why I'm doing King of the Monsters over this. Because, like, Michael Doherty's probably going to show up, so, you know, he could show us some never-before-seen concept art, which, we'll get into it in a second. Um, you know, I could show some never-before-seen, oh, shoot, <laughs> never-before-seen concept art, uh, you know, just stuff like that. Um, and I don't think that you can really get as much of that, because there's not a lot of mystery surrounding this movie. If they were doing, like, JP3, um, then that would be super interesting. I would be like, oh, yeah, I definitely gotta watch that. Because, like, you know, <laughs> there, there's so much mystery surrounding that. I would love to see some, like, concept art that we've never seen before. But, um, yeah, so, um, <clears throat> I don't know who's been doing it, but on Twitter, I think it is, um, there have been, like, these images of Jurassic World and Fallen Kingdom surfacing without the blue filter. And, um, just, like, this one's a little bit blurry looking for some reason, but um, you can see like this is in Jurassic World. Um, yeah, this is from Jurassic World, and this is it without the blue filter, and uh, it looks a lot better. This looks like it came out of Jurassic Park. Um, like this one, you could really tell like this is Jurassic World, but this one looks like it could have come out of Jurassic Park or even Lost World. Um, but uh, yeah. So, here it is before in Fallen Kingdom, whenever the aloe gets <laughs> face-planted by that, um, by that, uh, volcanic, uh, rock. Um, you can see how much better it just looks, um, here. Uh, I, I would really love, like, a, a no, like, no filtered, unfiltered cut of both Jurassic films without the blue filter over it. <clears throat> um, they definitely dialed down the blue quite a bit in Fallen Kingdom, but it still looks better without it. Um, okay, so, yeah. L like, look at how much better this looks. Like, this looks so much better. This looks like it could have come out of Jurassic Park. It's just like, it looks so much better without the blue. But, yeah. Um, oh, yeah, this one's... This one's really good. Yeah, this one is just super dark. You can tell how much better this looks, though. Um, it, it looks so good. Like, this really does look like it could have come out of Jurassic Park. Of course, the CGI is too good <laughs> for 93, but, like, just, like, how bright it is, it looks more like Jurassic Park than World. It's very interesting how that, um looks though. And um here's the here's the big one. Look at how much better that looks. Like it looks so much better without the blue. Like you can see all the detail of Rexy really way clearer. Um and the same with the Carnotaur. Um you can just see everything's just so much clearer without the blue on it. Um you know, even down to, like, that log there, you can see, it's just so much better. And the fire looks way more defined. Just everything about this looks better than this. Um, yeah, this looks absolutely just amazing, though. This is a beautiful shot, um, without the blue, but, yeah. Um, so, as... I was just talking about earlier. Um, there's been a MonsterVerse watch-along that has been going on for the past uh, about three weeks, because on the 3rd, on the 23rd, um, they're going to be doing a King of the Monsters watch-along 
again, as I just said, that was the same day that they're doing the Jurassic Park watch along. Um, but for they've already done Godzilla 2014 and Kong Skull Island. They did that uh, last week and the week before that. Um, but um, yeah, so. Directed Godzilla 2014, and Jordan Vote Roberts, who directed Kong Skull Island, um, they released some never before seen concept art during the watch along on, uh, I think it was Twitter, um, was where they did it. But, um, yeah, it's just some really good concept art, um, that I just kind of wanted to share with you guys, so, yeah. Okay, so here's some, this is Godzilla 2014 concept art, so you can see an earlier design of 2014, Godzilla. Um, his spines are much more curved. As you can see, they're, they're a lot more curved. They kind of have the same aesthetic as 2014, but they're much more curved, and they're much bigger as well than uh, 2014 spines. Uh, he also has way more spines than he ended up having. Um, but the design is relatively the same, and you can see all the army men and stuff, uh, little, uh, building right here, uh, and I, I think that, yeah, this is, a uh, Golden Gate, this is the Golden Gate Bridge, so this is meant to be during that scene. Yeah, just some awesome looking concept art. Here is, um, some of the destruction of Las Vegas, uh, that the female Muto did. Um, just really cool concept. You can see the small Eiffel Tower um, knocked over. This is like aftermath of that and, um, you know, people getting rescued and stuff. Just uh, super cool. You can even see some people like walking over the, uh, the the small Eiffel Tower, which is cool. But um, yeah, uh, here you can see some concept of the ending of 2014 whenever Godzilla is going. Back into the ocean, you can see people cheering down there, holding hands and stuff, uh, which is awesome on top of the buildings. Uh, you can see that. You can see the little boardwalk right there. You can see all of the little, like, seagulls and stuff um, down here, which is cool. Um, Godzilla, I think, is much bigger than he ended up being in the movie in this concept image. He looks way bigger than I think he ended up being. He was, like... Just a little bit smaller. This this is just a little bit bigger. But um, you can see the design is much more 2014 looking. Um, the spines uh, still need a little bit of refining. But it, it looks relatively like 2014. So, yeah, that's that. And um, here's some other concept art. You can see a uh, nice human perspective shot. This is probably like all real um, photos, probably, like, all of this, um, with the person, the helicopter and everything down here, this is probably, like, all real, uh, just with, like, some Photoshop, um, and then Godzilla right there, you can see, again, the spines are relatively, look, kind of like what 2014 ended up being, but just a little bit different, just slightly, you can see, like, some of the spines are exactly like the final design, but, you know, um, and you can see that the spines actually start, like, ramping up uh, farther down, like, he has a longer neck, which is kind of cool. Move that over here. Um, and you can see, like, you know, the helicopters and lots of the fire. This is very much, like, Godzilla destroying the city rather than saving humanity. <laughs> um, you know, but it's, it's just, like, a cool uh, concept is concept image. Again, this is never before seen. Um, Gareth Edwards only just released this, like, a couple weeks ago. Um, and, uh, you can see his eyes are glowing blue as well. So, yeah. Um, here is some really, like, abstract-looking concept art. You can see, uh, some, uh, you know, like, some weird, uh, <laughs> Um, you can see Godzilla's design, again, like, spines are curved back, you can see, got quite a bit more teeth, um, his head is much more flat than it ended up being, but yeah, just a really beautiful looking P-51 
piece, uh, much more color than, of course, the movie ended up having. Um, but, you know, you can see all these people are like, you know, oh my god, I <laughs> think. You don't see the Muto at all, so this is like Godzilla just destroying the airport. Um, but yeah, this is just, this looks awesome. But, uh, yeah, you can see, like, people farther away, like this person right here, like, he's, like, like he's floating. <laughs> but, um, yeah, uh, very GVK looking, well, like, all of the, the vibrant, like, almost Skull Island looking with all of the, the vibrant, like, purples and pinks, uh, yellows and blues all around there, like, it looks very beautiful. Um, here is a early design of the Muto, uh, the female Muto, um, and you can see it looks pretty much exactly like the Muto, like Muto Prime. I actually look at after shot right now. Just, uh, flip through the page pages to find the uh, Muto Prime. Yeah, it looks a, a lot like Muto Prime ended up looking. Um, I'm actually looking at Moto Prime's design right now. You can see, like, this, these forearm limbs right here um, have, like, individual fingers. Muto Prime has that on those hands. Uh, she only has two fingers instead of the three right here. She has, like, these weird, like, crab crustacean-looking, like, arms. Uh, main arms, which is interesting. Um, she also has, like, individual fingers, but, um, it's just the one hook, uh, which they ended up using in the, in the film. Um, but you can see, like, she's, uh, she's got that one main protrusion, which they kind of used in the film, but, um, it's, it looks a lot more like, uh, Muto Primes. She doesn't have the mandibles like Muto Prime. She has normal Muto head, um, with individualized teeth as well. But, um, yeah, uh, very, very much like Muto Prime. Um, so that's really cool. So, uh, yeah, there you go. And you can even see, like, all of the vibrant colors and stuff. This is in, like, Japan somewhere. Um, which is kind of cool, but, you know. And, um, here you got, uh, some concept of Godzilla using his atomic breath. Which is really cool. Again, like, this is definitely a 2014 shot with, like, this could be, like, a camera on a helicopter. You know? But, um, yeah, so you can see his atomic breath right there. Um, much more of a 2019 atomic breath than a 2014 atomic breath. Um, because, like, uh, 2014's atomic breath was more, like, smoky. Like, it, it looked a lot more like 54's 1954 Godzilla Atomic Breath. Like, it was much more, like, smoky. Like, it, like, it was very, like, it kind of, like, sprayed, like, everywhere. Um, as where, you know, 2019 was just a straight-up, like, beam. You know, like, a very focused, like, beam. Um, but yeah, um, uh, some cool concept. Again, his spines are, like, curved back. Um, I prefer 2014's spines. Um, over these, like, curved ones. They just look kind of off to me, but yeah. Um, and, uh, here's some concept of, uh, like, the, the airport sequence again. Uh, you can see, like, some people are just, like, not really paying attention to what's going on right there, but then you got some people, like, reacting to it and stuff. Um, I assume that this is Godzilla because you can see some blue right back here with the spines, but uh, I don't know what that is. Uh, could be the Muto? I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know if this is the Muto or Godzilla. I would assume it's Godzilla, though. But, uh, I don't know. So, yeah. Some cool concept art. Um, and here we got a concept bit of Godzilla fighting the Muto. Which is really cool. Um, you can see the Muto actually has quite a few more legs. Um, and this is also the female Muto as well, rather than the male Muto. And it ended up, it ended up uh, being in the film. So it makes me wonder if uh, there was even going to be a male Muto. Um, and uh, 
they were, they were originally planning on it just being the female, um, which is very interesting. But yeah, it has a few more legs. It looks like than um, she ended up having, which is interesting. Um, you can see Godzilla there. That looks very cool. Um, he's way smaller than uh, he should be. But, um, yeah. So now we get on to Kong Skull Island uh, concept art that uh, Jordan Vote Jordan Vote Roberts uh, shared with us. Again, I don't think that this has ever been seen before. So, yeah, so you got some nice uh, shots of the island. Uh, the geography of it is uh, quite a bit different. In the movie, it had a lot more of, like, yeah, these kind of formations where they're, like, it's hard to explain. I, I they, These, like, weird rocky um, structures, but they were, like, huge, like, lines almost. Um, you, you'd have to watch the movie to know what I'm talking about, but there's, like, these weird formations surrounding the island until the main one. But, um, but yeah. So, a uh, nice helicopter shot there. Um, you can see some concept art of, uh, the leaf wings. I, I would assume that these, uh, creatures were the leaf wings of the film. Um, because I don't know what else they would be in the movie. But, um, you can see, uh, some concept of... Shoot, uh, I don't remember the actor's name. Uh, Comrade uh, was the character's name. Uh, Comrade, uh, wearing the gas mask, uh, slicing through the leaf wings with his katana, so that's really cool. Love the uh, concept art. Okay, so here's an early design of the skull crawler. Uh, I much prefer the design that they went with in the movie. But, um, you can see, like, the face is, uh, way different, in fact. Um, the eyes, these in the film aren't actually eye sockets, so they resemble eye sockets, but these are, like, kind of like nose sockets. They're kind of like, if you know the JP3 Velociraptor, they've kind of got, like, that sort of, like, bridge on the nose. That's kind of what I think it is. But, um, here it's the concept, and the, in this concept, it's actually the eye socket, because you can see the eye right there, but, um, in the movie, the eye is actually, like, back here, um, that's just, like, a nose formation of some sort, and then you got, like, the, and, of course, the, uh, the face in the movie is much more, like, it's got a pointy, pointed end, it's much more pointy, rather than this, where it's much more, like, um, smoothed off, which is kind of interesting. Um, and you see, you'll see it in a second, but the feet are also kind of different on this earlier design. It, it looks a lot like the design of the film. Maybe the, I think that the tail might be a little bit longer than it was in the movie, too, but I don't know. Um, here is some concept of Packer, destro Packer destroying, uh, or lighting up Kong, which is, uh, really cool. Some... Awesome concept, a beautiful artwork of the uh, explosion right there. That's awesome. They got Kong in the foreground. It just looks really cool. Uh, they got some soldiers right here. So cool, man. Uh, this movie's awesome. Um, okay, so here you got some concept of the original Skull Crawler design fighting Kong, who actually looks a lot like how he did in the movie. Uh, he's got a couple extra cuts on him, though, that he didn't end up getting in the movie. But, um, you can see the Skullcrawler's hands, as well, are also, um, webbed, uh, interestingly enough. Uh, not a big fan of that, but, um, it's kind of cool to see that. Uh, you can see it's got much more individualized teeth, and, uh, again, the eye socket is right here, is where the eye should be, like, right here. But, um, yeah, some really cool, uh, art, <laughs> I guess you can see some people, uh, running, uh, no, like, actual characters that we know of, it's just random army men. Um, but, yeah, so, that's kind of cool. Um, that's a, that's a really cool one, though. And, uh, oh, yeah, here we go. So, um, somebody, so this one is just beautiful. Um, very scary looking Kong right here. He's not as scary as this in the movie. <laughs> um, 
but you can see him uh, in front of the sunset. I think that in the movie, I thought anyways that it was sunrise, but maybe it is meant to be sunset. I don't know, because it doesn't really make sense with the timeline of the film, but, you know. Um, but you can see right there, like, just that beautiful silhouette. It's the best shot in the movie, and um, you, know, you uh, I'm pretty sure that this was concept for an earlier script of the movie, but Jordan Vote Roberts came on the project and was like, no, we're not doing that. Um, and then he based the movie, a, t a lot of the movie around this concept art. Um, and you can tell why he kept this one in. <laughs> but um, yeah, just like a beautiful shot, uh, concept art. Uh, absolutely amazing. I think I was going to say something, but I don't remember what it was. Oh, yeah. Um, somebody tweeted Jordan Vote Roberts on this, um, and they also posted beside it an image of uh, Evangelion. I don't know what mech I think it is. I think they're mechs. Um, it's, it's some anime. Uh, I think that uh, a lot of people know it. It's, it's actually a really, like, highly regarded anime. I'm not a big fan of anime. Um, it's all on Netflix, though, like, the whole entire story of Evangelion is on Netflix. So if you want to find more about that, it's on Netflix, if you want to watch it. But, um, <clears throat> somebody asked him if this was, shot was inspired, um, by, like, uh, a shot from Evangelion of, like, one of the robots things. I, I don't know what they are, uh, if I'm gonna be honest, because I haven't seen the anime. But, um, uh, there was a shot that looked exactly like this of one of the giant mech things, um, in front of, uh, like, a, a silhouette of, silhouetted in the sun. And, uh, they asked Jordan Broke Roberts if, uh, that was intentional. And, um, I don't remember what Jordan said. It was something along the lines of, like, Basically, yeah, <laughs> um, was what he said. I don't know where I'm going with this, but yeah. So uh, that's that's it. Uh, the, I, I don't know why I went on a little bit of a tangent there. I just wanted to kind of let you know. Um, so are you going to put out your shock back? So are you going to watch the Jurassic Park watch along, or are you going to sit back and watch King of the Monsters watch along. Um, I, I, I'm gonna be doing the King of the Monsters watch along. Uh, I honestly kind of hope that Joseph doesn't announce that he is gonna be in Dominion uh, during that live stream because I really want to hear it firsthand. But I don't know. He probably is gonna announce that he's gonna be in Dominion, but yeah. Um, so, leave that in the comments if you want to, what's, what's your opinion on it? I don't know. Comments. Video is way too long. Um, I will be posting a review of the NECA Godzilla 2014, like, 12-inch tall figure as well. Um, hopefully today. But, uh, yeah, so, there you go, there's that <laughs> that I'm going to be doing. But, um, yeah. Thanks for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, and, and post notifications, and comment, all that stuff. Um, see you guys next time. Bye!